Welcome back. The current historic drought is causing cattlemen to scramble to find water, feed, and other essentials for their herds. But some ranchers are finding a sustained nutrition program is helping relieve some of the uncertainties brought on by this crisis. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brad Bulla has more from West Texas. We're one of the oldest uh, registered Angus breeders there are in the country. Certainly not the oldest, but one of, one of them. And um, this unique uh, environment uh, creates uh, interesting cattle, makes you have very uh, environmental friendly cattle or they won't survive here. And uh, this year has certainly been proof of that. We've been a very disciplined breeder. We always just keep what we think is a very top end cattle. Just very disciplined of what we do any females that were open or no longer on the premises. One of the most unique things about Bradley Three Ranch is that they are a purebred operation that is, is developed their cattle on range conditions, not in smaller pastures, which is typical to, to purebred operations east of here. Uh, but the cattle are actually out in the pastures and uh, it's more of a challenge to run a purebred operation in this type of, of situation because your forage is constantly changing uh, and so you're, you're typically battling that the quality of the forage and the quantity of the forage in the time of the year. Rainfall is also extremely important to this part of the world uh, because we don't get very much of it. When it comes to rainfall, the Bradley Three Ranch, like much of Texas, is finding itself in uncharted territory. The intensity of the drought has caught many ranchers by surprise, even those who endured the drought of the 1950s. Actually, this is lots lot worse because we've had such extreme temperatures to go with it. We had actually had 99 days of straight over 100, and that 100 was from about 10 to 15, 110 to 115, with a couple, three days in there to 122 to 123. 1956 is the driest year in history for Childress County, but we still got 10 and a half inches. Today we're, on, we're into our 10th month and we've had 2.4 inches. And our calves were born and weaned without their backs ever getting wet. Despite the severe drought, the Bradley's cattle are in good shape. Mary Lou and her husband James have been using Purina's sustained nutrition program for some time, including the AccuRation and Superlix products. And the head start it gave their animals during the good weather is paying off now during the drought. One of the things that the sustained nutrition program, uh, especially here on the, the Bradley ranches, is enabling these cattle to uh, be able to consume these products, the Superlix product, in a fashion where we can continue to keep her in good body condition and milking for that calf, even in times where we don't have really good forage. And the benefits of that is getting her bred earlier and uh, that the earlier a calf is born, the heavier it's gonna weigh when we wean, even if we have to early wean like we've had this year. Purina's been a really good partner for a number of years for us and, and without that, I know that this year would be almost impossible because we've, our cows we've had on the Purina Superlix program, we keep that out 365 days a year. Those cows have, have uh, stayed in really good body condition even though we've had no moisture. They've, they've been able to adjust and adapt to forage that's, that's poor quality. We're starting to calve now and uh, these calves are are very vigorous, they're hitting the ground, jumping up, nursing, doing really well, and so we're, we're pleased with the amount of heat stress that, that the cows went through this summer and the type of forage. Uh, that, that's been really, really good. Basically, we have more cows that are breeding back in the first 21 days, and the cows are actually lactating more as well. So we're getting a, a, a double punch from those cows from a nutritional standpoint where not only are they breeding back early, but they're lactating more, so we're getting an increase in winging weights anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds on those calves. Some of the things that we've done here on the ranch to sustain ourselves through this drought is, uh, historically, we don't feed much hay on the ranch, but we've had to this year uh, in, in some different instances with our first calf heifers, and, and we've also implemented the AccuRation program into our first calf heifer program this year to uh, improve some body score conditions prior to calving. 
and this program has worked very well for us. Along with keeping up overall body condition scores, Purina's Superlix product also helps with cattle management and labor costs. So with the uh, Sustained Nutrition Program and the Superlix uh, product, we actually have better forward utilization throughout the pasture. What we've seen is we, have, we get better grazing distribution throughout these larger pastures in West Texas. And also, we get uh, grazing in areas where cattle normally won't grow graze on a cube program or a more conventional supplementation program. Basically, this has allowed ranchers to actually, instead of having to go out and feed all day, every day throughout the week, trying to get around to their cattle. This actually allows a guy to go out once a week, put supplement out, and uh, know that those cattle have supplement, again, 24-7, and uh, when the cattle need it, it's there for them to consume. Liquid feed allows us to put feed out, and we're not having to be with the cows every day, certainly not driving the truck or burning the fuel, so that's reduced our cost. Uh, right now with an employee sick, um, the labor issue is a very um, important issue for us. So it's, it's allowing us to take care of our cattle and not physically be with them every day. And now we're really sold on this liquid because in this drought, we could make them go to any corner of the ranch we want them to go to because they're going to follow, they'll go where that syrup is. Even with the weather challenges, the Bradley 3 Ranch is preparing for its annual bull sale in February, confident in the fundamentals of their animals and the genetics they've developed over the years. We're in the bull selling business and we believe very strongly that if we're going to sell bulls, we ought to be using those same bulls ourselves uh, in that program. We need to make sure they can cover the country. Our pastures are two section pastures. Um, some of them are very steep, rocky, rough, brushy kinds of pastures, those bulls need to be able to hold up in those conditions. And if we're going to be selling those kinds of bulls, we ought to be making sure that they can, can do and survive in those, in those same conditions. And so we expect a lot of our bulls. We've got to develop the genetics that will shine whether we have good conditions or bad conditions. And you know, we have the abilities here on the ranch to, to uh, verify that in our efficient cows that can convert and the longevity of our cattle herd that can, can stay with us for years and the fertility and the reproduction and the muscling and the conversion, the relative feed intake. Uh, these are all factors that uh, make the survival when times are tough much easier. You know, the deal with Purina is it's, it just helps you on the bottom line. If you can get for, for the feed intake, if you can move your breed up, that's real money. And uh, I mean, I've been pretty clear with Purina from the beginning. It's, it's about bottom line. Can you make a difference in our bottom line, whether it be saving us fuel, labor, or improve body condition on the cows? That's, that's what it's about. And they've been able to achieve that. A crisis like a sustained drought can mean lots of sleepless nights for cattlemen and women. But Mary Lou says talking with those in the same situation can help. And talking with her Purina representative has given her some perspective. They'll come and just sit with you for a little bit and just help you stop for a minute and think and strategize about the nutrition for the cows. And just, you know, sometimes an outsider that can come on the property, help you see the grass for what it is. You, you want to think it's better than it is, you know, you want to believe that because you know you're in trouble, but uh, sometimes they just come and shoot straight with you and that's what you need to hear. We do develop strong relationships, even friendships uh, with these people. And it's been tough this year to see these people going through what they've had to do, the costs that they've had to lay out. And uh, you, you feel a, a personal involvement, even though what I go through is nothing like what they're having to go through in this drought. Uh, but we, we become a partner, not just somebody that's on the phone getting the call, how much is feed this week. You know, we're, we're actually trying to, instead of just price feed to them, is we're trying to give them the best bang for their, their spent dollar to get the most benefit. Because uh, if there's every year that we've got to do that, the most effective way we can, it's, it's a year like this. I'm not saying we're not in trouble, but we're sure not in serious trouble. We're going to make it. We'll, we'll, we'll do okay. Reporting from Memphis, Texas, I'm Brad Bullifor, NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. For more information about Purina's sustained nutrition products, visit our website at cattlemen2cattlemen.org.